let's go for a tactic here. I'm going to try to hit this on a volley. He's got 99 volleys. So I definitely, definitely want to give it a go. And look at that. What's going on, guys? Orzio here, and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new end of an era, Fernandinho card to review, and he is looking outstanding. He's got 89 pace with 94 dribbling, 86 shooting, 96 defending, 92 passing with 93 physicals, looking like a very good all-rounded midfielder. He's five foot ten as well, which means that reach in a midfield isn't going to be too bad to work with. He's got medium high work rates with four star skill moves, and he also has. Got a four star week for as well. Now, the chem style the chem style I have applied on this card is a chem style you don't see very often on a CDM, and it's the Hunter chem style. I feel like giving this card a shadow chem style, yeah, it will be pretty decent, but I feel like it's going to be a waste because his defending stats look already incredible. So, I feel like giving him the Hunter chem style is definitely going to be the way to go because you're still getting that pace increase but you're also getting a huge increase to the shooting as well i know some people may go for like a catalyst but i also feel like the catalyst might be a waste as well because the passing stats on this card is already top tier as well so yeah the hunter chem style is what i've gone for 99 acceleration 97 sprint speed insane pace in that midfield the shooting stats are also looking very top tier he's got 89 attacking positioning with 92 finishing 99 shot power 91 long shots 99 volleys with 83 penalties has he got a shooting trait unfortunately he does not as i already said the passing ability looks top tier the dribbling ability looks very nice for a player that has got the lean body type as well i feel like he's gonna feel incredible on the ball like those dribbling stats with the lean body type while also being five foot ten Oh yeah, he defo is going to feel uh, really nice on the ball. I feel like those quick twist and turns and like the 180 turns are going to come off very smooth of him. The defending stats, already spoke about it. They look incredible. The physicals on his card look top tier. Like 98 jumping is amazing. 90 stamina is amazing. 91 strength is a joke. And 99 aggression is outrageous. Now when it comes down to the links, Brazilian, Manchester City. Do I need to get into it? I think you guys know the amount of players, good players, that you can link up to Fernandinho is a straight up joke. Now, when it comes down to positions, I will be playing Fernandinho in two positions, the CDM position and the centre position. So let's get into the games and let's see how good this card is going to be. I'm going to go for a cut back here because there's no one really in front of me. Fernandinho making an aggressive run inside the box there as well. I'm kind of surprised. He's being aggressive right now because he's got medium high work rates. Look at him still inside the box as well. It's a nice driven pass. Go for that fake shot. Nice turn. I tried it. I greened it and everything. And he was probably going to be a decent shot as well. But yeah, really surprised with how aggressive he was there. I'm just going to give this into Fernandinho. Nice ball roll. Can I maybe accelerate just straight past him? That's team of the season, Bellingham as well. Look at Bellingham though, trying to catch up. Nice strength from Fernandinho. Son, give me a passing option. Is he going to continue his run? He does. We got an angle. Finesse shot. No, we green timed it as well. What a save from Neto. Is that him inside the box? I think it is. Hold on a second. Let's go for a tactic here. I'm going to try to hit this on a volley. He's got 99 volleys. So I definitely, definitely want to give it a go. And look at that. You can definitely tell it is 99. Let's just go for a back kill. Nice on. Well played. That's a nice run from Son as well. Good pass. Good fake shot. Round him. Can I green it? I can't green it. Apparently, I can't time today. But it still was a very good finish from Son. And a good pass from Fernandinho. Play that through ball before we end up losing that ball. Nice ball roll. Let's go for the pass. He's wide open. And it's an amazing pass. He's going to pass a greenish there. He doesn't. But he ends up trying to pass to someone. And we do get the interception there. Nice turn as well. Good ball roll. Well played. Good dribbling. And just keep it simple and go for that pass. I'm going to push towards him here. Is he going to go for a cutback? He doesn't. I reckon he's just going to try to use his pace. There you go. Decent cut in, but Fernandinho is not allowing it to happen. I'm just going to give this a cross. I was about to lose the ball there. I see Son. Good pass. Can I hit it first? I was trying to hit it first time, but he did take a touch just before. Nice assist though. He might give that a cross. I'm going to try to cover that. There you go. Once again, a possession-based interception. Look at the footwork. You see all those little touches he's taking? Accelerate into the space. That's beautiful. He definitely feels really nice on the ball. Like, you don't have to keep it simple at all. You can burst into those spaces if you want to. I'm going to second man press this. So if he does go for that cut in, Fernandinho is right there. So we can get that ball. Nice ball roll to get away. Let's go for it. I red timed it. <laughs> If that was green, that was a good angle as well. I reckon that could go in. Second man pressed this. So if he goes for that cutback, Fernandinho is right here. 
Is he going to try to go all the way back? He does. But look, no, no way. EA, come on. You know that was a clean tackle. I like that animation. Like he went straight for it, but then he like twisted his leg to get it. For the first time that into Fernandinho. He is quite aggressive and I'm kind of like surprised. Like look at him. That's not me telling him to make that run. That's all him. And can I get the finish? It's going to be a tight angle now. Hold on though. Hold on. No, I tried to do like a lacroqueta into the inside. But you see how aggressive he is? Like, that's medium high work rates, and he's running forward like that. Go and win that header, Damian. There you go. Fernandinho, edge of the box. Flick it again. Okay, clearly not like the first one. It was on his four star weak foot, though. Need an option. I see Fernandinho slowly running forward. This is a good angle to go for the finesse shot we might as well go ahead and do it like he's now got really good shot power because of the hunter chem style and he already has got really nice long shots get that ball fernandinho go and use your strength against mbappe he does that really well even though he's got a lean body type i've seen him get in a few situations like that and he has definitely like bullied off the player i'm gonna go for a dummy here then twist it back crown there you go fernandinho he's gonna select the player Gonna try him with a burber spin in the middle. That's beautiful. Let's go for it. Green time power shot outside the box. And uh, my nan is gonna pull off a nice save. Look at him though. Hold on. Are you, are you serious? How does he save that? I'm so surprised Fernandinho made that run though. I see him all the way on the other side. Look at that. That is a ridiculous pass. I'm gonna try to score this. Nice. Extra pass into Son. Touch it up. No. What is this keeper right now? Like, how many saves is he going to pull off? Foden, give me an option. There you go. Let's go for a ball roll. Kind into the inside. Fernandinho. Look at that. Look at the dribbling. W what is this? What are we playing at? Nah, I'm so unlucky. Like, what? Both posts. I didn't even load driven that. That was just him just apparently hitting it across the ground. The dribbling there, though, insane. Let's go for maybe a tackle here. There you go. Straight through the back. I thought maybe Fernandinho was going to use his strength there to push off Pedri. But clearly, it was not needed. Let's go for a dummy there with Fernandinho. Just run into the space. Keep it going. It's a good run from Son. I'm going to go ahead and give it to him because I know Fernandinho is most likely going to give me another passing option. There you go. Let's go for a roulette. Let's go for it. Green time. It's far. And it was close. Go on, Fernandinho, run into that space. There you go. Just using that pace to get past Lucas Paqueta. Nice uh, shielding as well. Foden, are you... Hold on, though. Hold on a sec. Look at Fernandinho. Hold off Lucas Paqueta. Like, oh, no. We actually missed that. Like, he's not even there. Wait, he saved that? I'm going to try push towards him here. He might go for that ball roll scoop. And we read it. And Fernandinho, with that reach on the other side of Di Maria, still puts in a very good tackle. Nice fake shot. Straight past Alfonso. It's a good skill move. Look at the R1 dribbling. I'm telling you guys, the R1 dribbling, the left stick dribbling feels incredible on him. And uh, yeah, I thought I was going to get blocked for a second. I just went for it just to see if he was going to fly in. I do want to show you guys how quick his transition speed is. Like, look at me controlling him right now and look how smooth it looks. Look how fast it looks. Just going left and right. No issue at all. Going to try to track that. No pass in the middle there. And then maybe just uh, track that in the middle. Okay, he goes for a through ball. Well, you see how quick it is just going left and right. It feels incredible. It's a good cutback, but I'm second man pressing this with Fernandinho. I then select him and we do put in a good tackle. Let's go for a ball roll. I sent Foden on a run. Let's go for it. Oh my. I mean, it's a good pass. It's just I didn't expect it to go that far. Trying to get this pass into Son, but he is covering that really well. Hold on a second. We got a gap there. Fernandinho. I didn't even... Shot cancel. That is a panic slide tackle. We all know it is as well. He was completely gone. And he just went for it and trusted in Virgil van Dijk's slide tackling. I didn't even know Fernandinho was there. I didn't see him. So it is time to give my final thoughts on the card. We ended up playing three games with Fernandinho. And we scored two goals in those three games. And we also came out with two assists as well. Amazing, amazing all-rounded card. He offers you so much on that pitch. The pace on this card crazy good so fast to get out the players the transition speed was crazy quick as well you guys saw i wasn't keeping it simple with him i was dribbling with him in that midfield and just bursting bursting past players for pretty much fun see at a pace 
beautiful. Shooting ability. The long shots are good, but they're not as good as someone like Salah. Not as good as someone like Son. Messi. Kevin De Bruyne. The long shots aren't that good, but they are very solid. And if you are in the angle to go for it, 100% give it a go. The passing ability on this card is insane. The overtop through walls work so well with him. The amount of curve that's behind it, the fact that it gets towards the player really quickly as well is amazing. The dribbling ability. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The dribbling for a midfielder is definitely, definitely up there. The fact that he's got the lean body type is so nice to work with as well because those 180 turns, they come off so quickly with him. And you guys saw I was messing around with his left stick dribbling. Like I was just spinning players for fun out there. So yeah, love these dribbling ability, defending ability, interceptions are insane. He's 5 foot 10 reach as well is really like really nice to work with because you can clearly see he's really reaching out to certain uh, certain through balls or certain passes. He's just not he's not a player that just stands his ground and lets the ball go straight past him. That is not the case. The amount of possession based interceptions as well were insane. The standing tackling solid. Defensive awareness the fact that he has got 99 defensive awareness with a high defensive work rate it's just a beautiful combination to have. I saw Fernandinho put in so so many uh so many interceptions all by himself because he's sitting there in front of players, cutting passing lanes. He's doing it all by himself. And the physicals, the 99 aggression, you can definitely tell he has got it. The 91 strength as well. He was holding off players like Bellingham time to time. And that's something that I was definitely impressed about. And his jumping ability, being at 98 and him being a 5 for 10 player, isn't too bad either because the ball did go up, up in the air a few times in that midfield. And he did do pretty well to win it as well. Now, the price of this card, 200k. 200,000 coins for a card like this with the links he has got. Oh, yeah, 100% he is worth it. Like, the links on this card are, are, are outrageous. Like, you get a strong link with Ruben Diaz. You get a strong link with Cancelo. A strong link with Shapeshifter Grealish. A strong link with Kevin De Bruyne. There's just crazy, crazy good players from the club he plays for. And the nationality, come on. Neymar, Vinny, Marcelo, Adair Militao, Marquinhos. I'm telling you guys, the links and the ability. 200k for me is an absolute bargain. Now, where does he go in the midfielder's tier list? If we're comparing him to some players in the S tier, maybe a nice comparison will be someone like Fabinho. But I feel like it's a weird comparison as well because, you know, Fernandinho is 5'10". Well, Fabinho is a six foot two player. Who would I rather have in a CDM position? I think I would rather have Fabinho still because of the fact that he is six foot two and he just reaches out to literally everything. But in a center mid position, oh yeah, Fernandinho 100%. I prefer this card over Shapeshifter Robertson as well easily the thing with robson right i love the fact that he's got the high high work rates i love the fact that his pace is really nice the defending the physicals are all really good with him but the dribbling ability is something that doesn't come off very smooth with him with Fernandinho, with fernandinho yeah you guys saw the dribbling i don't think i need to really get into it again so where does this card go in the midfielders tier list I think he needs to go S tier with how much he offers you with the lean body type, with having four star skill moves and a four star weak foot and low key having high, high work rates. Like, you guys saw how he how he was going forward. You guys saw how aggressive he was. I don't think he's got medium high. I think he's got high, high in game. But yeah, S tier for end or an error. Fernandinho. Insane, insane card. And for 200k, he's an absolute bargain. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.